Hello YouTube, so I'll be making a tutorial on user input with Java, especially and ready to program Java. So the first variant I'll show you is getting user input through an option pane. So this is the line of code you need to import the library for the J option pane. So it's import. So you usually use at the top before you import the US state public class. Javax.swing.j option pane. You can also do uh, javax.swing.asterisk instead of this which will import a larger selection of different classes. But this is the most specific way of importing the different classes. So here we continue within our main program. You, you would just do string name. So this would be the variable name that you're using to store the user input. Equals and then j option pane dot show input dialog enter your name. So if we run this, it says enter your name and then I can say Bob and that's my name and OK. And then let's make an output my name. Let's see that print line. And now we're going to say your name is plus name. So this will state how to output names. Your name is Bob. Another way to get user input is directly from the console. So in order to do this, let's comment out this code. We're going to comment this out. And then I'm going to show you how to get it straight from the console. So let's say step by line, please enter your name. And I'm going to do string name equals c dot read line. And then c dot print line name. So essentially what this does is the last for names, so say Bob and a lot of Bob. So what you do here is you do the normal printing from the console. You declare the variable string as name and you do c.readline just with nothing inside the parameters, which is a method found within the console class readline and then it outputs the name. Similarly, if you have integer, you could do a c.readint if you're handling the age. So this will output the age, say 43, and then this outputs 43. Now, the only problem with this is, is if you enter a series of numbers, there'll be a fatal error. So in order to prevent that, we use a try catch as I taught in previous tutorials. So we're going to try to read this. And then if we catch a number format exception, we're going to output to the user So this will output an invalid age to the user. So in case that you haven't followed the tutorials with new message, if you do hsa.asterisk and then you do new message, it'll let you use the new message feature within hsa. So now if we enter age and enter this, it will still give an error. So what you have to do is you have to do integer uh, parse int and then you do c.readline. So essentially what this does is it reads a string, so from read line, and then it tries to parse it to an integer, and then if an error occurs, then it will output the appropriate error message. So let's say la la la, error invalid range, but the program does not crash. Meanwhile, if we enter your age at 32, it outputs perfectly normal. Uh, different types of commands include c.getchar, which is different from c.readchar. The only difference between c.getchar and c.readchar is that in getchar it doesn't put a cursor and in readchar it places a cursor. So if you're doing this for say a game for pausing, c.getchar would be a lot better than c.readchar, which outputs the cursor. So yeah, this is essentially user input in ready to program Java. If you want to use a scanner class normally, it does not work on ready to program Java is ready to program Java uses the HSA console library. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for